It's an emotional moment we first showed you last night at 10. Wow. A bone marrow donor meeting the little girl who saved his life for the very first time. Tonight, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield takes a closer look at the need for bone marrow donations and the easy steps people like you and me can take to potentially save a life. The journey began in a high school classroom with a simple lesson by a history teacher. All you have to do to make a difference is be who you are. It's already in you. Among her students listening, Kenton Felmley. On an emotional level, I felt like I wanted to be a part of it. So just like his teacher, Kenton signed up to be a potential donor on the National Bone Marrow Registry. I had honestly forgotten I was on the registry till about three months later when I got a call saying that I was a potential match. That potential match turned out to be a perfect one. One, two, three. For a St. Louis Blues super fan, Layla Anderson, one. who more than 11 months later, Kenton would meet for the very first time. I think for me, it was especially motivating knowing that it was such a young girl um, out there who, who needed my bone marrow. But this journey doesn't happen for every patient who is sick or dying. Patients uh, that we treat are dealing with leukemias uh, that are extremely aggressive and will take their life. Doctors estimate every three minutes, someone in the U.S. is diagnosed with a blood cancer. Their likelihood of finding a match can range from 23 to 77 percent but sometimes it's even lower. Unfortunately, if you're uh, of any other ethnic group, such as African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, Native Americans, or mixed race couples like my own family, the chance of having a match in the registry is much less. The reason there are less donors, and those who are in the registry don't always donate. The need is very great though. Hundreds of thousands of people are in need of uh, transplants in the world, and. Uh, we have a lot of work to do to optimize them and also find those donors and stem cell sources for patients who have nowhere else to turn. Donors like Kenton, who couldn't imagine not being on this journey. It's understandable how, how gracious and gratitude that her family feels towards me, but I think that there's a sense of gratitude from me to her in a way that is almost illogical. Doctors say it's easy to start the donation process. All they need is a simple swab of your cheek, and within a week, they'll know if you're a perfect match. To get a swab kit, all you have to do is text KUCC to 61474. Reporting, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.